Guys, I hope we are great, even as you are watching this video, quite a long time since we talked. Yeah, I really hope you've done your assignment, and that is appreciating the fact that you're still among the living. Just a few seconds ago, some people have just passed away. But the big question is, how special are you? Or how different are you from the people that are not with us? Is, uh, is it that you are somehow compatible with life in any way? But the answer to that question is that it has nothing to do with the nature of the species. It has nothing to do with compatibility. It has nothing to do with you being special, me being special. Actually, it's a concept beyond human science, human technology. And that's the reason why, despite billions of dollars being invested in the medical sector, doctors cannot save lives. It is beyond the human scope. Uh, it introduces a concept of a god, as people would put it. My god, your god may be different, but we have this concept of describing a higher power and one of the easiest way to actually acknowledge this concept is when we start uh, looking at things like why we cannot justify our existence it is not by chance it is something that is beyond human uh, nature now there's actually only one book I've ever read in my entire life that really uh, introduces a concept that is very fundamental it's like we're talking about a topic that is beyond the time domain and when we talk about science science uh, is actually a concept a conceptual theme that is within the domain of time so we cannot talk beyond time as science is con as far as science is concerned but there is this interesting book and that's the bible when you read the first lines of the bible the introduction of the book is so great and i mean it's so great and straight to the point in the beginning god created the heavens and the earth in the beginning explains the existence of time the heavens and the earth the space and matter this is actually interesting it actually begins to talk about space and matter and time and these are things when we talk about human knowledge as far as science is concerned that cannot be justified as i mean the beginning of time the beginning of matter cannot be explained despite scientists coming up with the idea of the Big Bang Theory. But the Big Bang Theory does not go beyond the existence of time. And what is interesting when we go back to the, the Bible is that it begins to give an accord from there. But what is interesting, there is a subject that is beyond what is, uh, what is beyond time, space, and matter. Because it says, in the beginning, God created. So... When we talk about God, He is beyond these things. In the same way, you would want to think about a computer. A God that created this computer is not inside the computer. He is not affected by it. He is outside the computer because He governs its functionality. Now, this is the same concept that we should be able to think about when we cannot justify certain things. So the fact that I cannot explain why I'm still among the living introduces a concept of a higher power. So each time you wake up, try to realize that you are living, not that you're special, but there is something beyond your, beyond your ability that is really, really uh, making sure you're still among the living. And it's really... Uh, a reason to be grateful and thank uh, 
uh, yeah, to be thankful and really appreciate each and every opportunity that comes. I hope this video really uh, made a difference in your life and learned something from it. Um, let me catch you next time. May God bless you. Have a great day. Thanks for your time.